What's up, people? You're welcome. My name is MCD R B E N J A. Call me MCD Benjamin, and of course, this is Biggie Afterburn. When you don't vote for them enough, we burn them. <laughs> of course, I guess for today is hunting. Yeah, yeah, man. Papa, Baba. I'm cool. I say the, the new, the new, the thing, the new, the new hairstyle. Is that a new one from Biggie? Like, like, is that a new Hansen that that is coming out of Biggie? Uh, Hansen is never new. He's never old. I'm an actor and I live every life. You just up, upgrade. Up, I like, live. I live situationally. Situationally. Yeah. Now, how does it feel one night out of the mansion? This is like you've been like out of the, out, out of the world for like one month, two weeks, mm -hmm. like six weeks. Now you're out of the mansion one night. How does it feel to be out of the mansion without all the noise in there, without people, <laughs> without Afa, who you get you make him mad all the time? How does it feel? I feel loved. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't gotten to my people till now. All right. Because I'm afraid if I hurry to get to them, I may hurt them. Okay. The love is just too much. Like I feel so much love in the air in yeah. such a way that I, I don't know how I'm going to talk to them but I feel loved that's the only thing I feel love everywhere like I'm not regretting anything just love love and now love. you spend one night at the house you and Nadine were evicted together yeah what tell me what was happening to you guys last night well she slept in her room yeah and I slept in mine yeah and uh, you guys didn't have a time to chat no not we had the time but yeah. we got nothing to talk about. We, I need to give her time to rest. Okay, she you, to okay we're giving her time to rest. Yeah. After that, you guys are going to talk. Of course, we should. When does it talk? You know what I'm saying, right? Well, whatever you're saying, we should talk. Because you, you, you give Alpha, you give Alpha a uh, countless number of, I would say, I would say it, sleepless nights <laughs> in the mansion. You, you were the man who took, uh, you were the man who took Alpha's uh, captain ban from him. It, it has never happened in the mansion. You're the first person <laughs> who actually uh, did a, a military coup. Is it, can I say a military coup of a of a true Afa? And then still, at the same point, you took his woman. Well, I neither take the captain ban, neither did I take the woman. Okay. The woman and the, the captain ban was given Give to it me to, you. to correct a Afa's mistake, mistake a child made. And that was childish. <laughs> the captain ban was given to a man correcting a mistake a child, a child made. made. And... To be a man, I had to keep his wife away from him to help him grow a little bit. So I didn't take the captain by uh, Okay, I've made, made a child I've made a mistake. So you're giving the a family childish mind. mistake to be precise. Okay, a child made a childish mistake. Yeah. And you were the man to correct that mistake. I was the man in the best position to, to correct the mistake. Them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what are some of the moments? So the moments the times you made Afa cry, did you actually feel uh like if you, if you actually feel bad about some moments where he was crying because maybe Nadine was lying on your leg and stuff. Did you actually feel like okay, this child could could could, could harm himself because of, of these actions? No, not at all. Not as if I don't care. Yeah. Afa is a nice guy, but Afa is like uh raw gold. Yeah. So uh, he needed a fire like me to shape him well. Yeah. To be able to come up to be a perfect man he needs to be. Okay. If he was permitted to, 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 to be in the emotional state he wanted to put himself in, he would yeah. drown. So I needed to do all of that to be able to build him up in the right way. Because there are times I would do that and say, you, you got to grow. You got to grow. You got to be a man. He's a boy. I get, I understand that he's very talented and he, 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 he likes daring, you know. Yeah. But I had to do all of that to make sure that he grows up as a man. You you were part of a group of people in the, in the mansion who, you guys called yourself, is it a violent, the violent, the, the violent committee? Why, yeah. why, why such a name? Why violent? Like, Violence is not, not something, something that we all can be, we should be proud of, something like that. You guys call yourself the Violent Committee. Why, why something like that? Well, the Violent Committee was not pre-planned. Okay. Yeah, and neither were people selected to be in that committee. But it came about a people who saw a lot of things going wrong, who shared a common ideology. So the only way you could correct certain things in the mansion, be it from whatever angle, was to be part of the, of the Violent Committee. We could... We could decide if something is wrong. It was only the violent committee to decide if it's wrong or not. Did, did you guys succeed to correct some of those things that were going wrong? Perfectly well. well. Oh, okay. We might have not succeeded as a group. Okay. But I succeeded as a person. As a person. But you guys were in a group. So you, I, I think you guys were... That group, that group was not a group. Okay. It was an individual thing. It was... We had, we had an ideology. Okay. Not a group of persons. Okay. Yeah, we had an we shared a common ideology, not a group of persons. We we never had meetings okay. to say this was a group. We never had a leader okay. to say this was a group. We never had an initiator. Okay. It came up and people who felt like this is 
an opportunity yeah share the idea and they could use the, the word the ideology to express whatever they felt like so, so now some of the things you didn't have like with nadine and, and playing with nadine against afa and stuff uh so at one point in time we were like okay you are married yeah do you think that at one point in time it, 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 it's going to affect maybe affect your relationship out with your wife or, or something or what what was that like is it, <laughs> is it something that you guys discuss with your wife and be like okay you know what i'm getting to this show whatever happens it's a game it's a show i'm, I'm going to be back home what, what's that well i got married to a woman that's like me okay like me in what aspect in understanding okay in predicting in in not prejudging okay therefore Whatever I did inside the house has nothing to do with emotions. Before I first started dating Nadine, I had approached Nadine, not as somebody dating her, but to let her understand who she actually is without comparing her with some other person. Okay. And there was nothing emotional attached to whatever I was doing. Okay. Like I said, I was trying to help a child, a great child, grow up to be a great man. Marriage, uh, you are married, but I haven't, I really see a ring on your finger. Is it, is it, is it like legally married? Yeah. But why don't you put on your ring? I don't put on my ring because marriage is not a ring. Okay. Marriage is a relationship, it's a commitment. Okay. And putting on, I don't like rings anyway. Generally, I don't like But that's different. That's, I mean, that's different. Uh, it's not something that you ring like. It. It's not something that you would like. A, a ring, ring, a ring is a ring. Okay. Yeah, I don't like rings. Like, I'm trying to learn jewelry. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to learn jewelry. So, my wife remains my wife with or without a ring. And in everything I do, or everything we do, family first. Okay, she has her own ring on her finger, right? No. She doesn't have... We don't. Okay, you guys decide not like to I, Like I ring. said, I got married to myself. Okay. Yeah. You guys decided, like, okay, no, we're, not, we're not doing this ring thing. Yeah. Okay. We, we don't follow trends. We don't follow standards. We set them. Okay, you set your own standards. We set I mean, somebody, somebody's watching now will be like, okay, maybe I'm going to get married and, 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 and I don't want, uh, we don't, we're not going to wear rings or put on rings like that too. Okay, that's, that's good. So who are you going to miss in the show? Who are you going to miss so bad in the show? <laughs> uh, I'll miss first of all, Queen Mother. Okay. Yeah, we, we were already vibing, not anything emotional, okay. but context, like, like, like in the way, the energy we shared. That was somebody that I shared enough energy with. Right. Somebody that could call a spade a, a spade. spade. Somebody that could, that knows what life after this is and what life in the house is, yeah. and she doesn't mix it. Yeah. That's somebody that was straightforward, and that's my kind of person. Okay. Yeah. So I will miss her. I will miss Nonny White. Right. I will miss Clement. I will miss our. Uh, a lot of people, but these three people are missed. All right. Yeah. So, what were you? What was Hansen doing before the show? Hansen is an actor. Okay. First of all, that's the first thing I put first. Yeah. Because that's my life. Actor. I'm an actor. Good for the screen. Set. Trained and ready for the screen. Like I said. Yeah. Yeah. And a fashion designer. Okay. The fashion designing is a plus. I'm experiencing it and. Most of the things I do, I do for myself. Okay. Except now that I want to get into this. So this one, you did it for yourself? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> guys, guys, you should get one of these. I mean, yeah. you should get one of these. So it's now that I I'm, I'm, I'm get into the business phase okay. of the fashion designing. I've, right. I've worked with so many companies out there. Okay. And my work has been proven good. All right. Yeah. So what are you now? That's what you've been doing before now. What are you going to do now after the show? The show has given you a platform that increased your, your following and everything. What are you going to do with, with, with all this now? All, all the fame you got from Biggie. What are you going to do now? First thing first, actor. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for sets to prove my worth. Yeah. I have trained for more than five years. I've barely appeared in any movies because I didn't want to appear. I didn't want to be a contender without content without the content. Yeah. So I've got so much in me that I know that I need just opportunities to prove what I got. Okay. And after this, I think uh, establishing my fashion brand already is in my mind because the vision of the street child stays in me in such a way that I want to use that to bring up so many people in that field. Yeah. The market in Cameroon is still so wide, and when I see people around without jobs and all of that, it pains me. So I have the vision of the street child, which I need to further, yeah. to be able to help even just one person. Okay. Yeah, the vision of the street child is just for one street child. Okay. One. I don't want to take 10, and I can't take care of them to the, to the end. So just one at a time. Okay. And if there are people that uh, want to help so many of such children, yeah, they can come in and we see how we can raise just one person, one person. at a time. I'm one, yeah, and I'm proud to be who I am because of what somebody somewhere did, and so two, it's just two, one person. Two more questions. You, what, what does what does family mean to you? Family is everything. Okay. Considering that I grew up 
being a child to every family. Okay. Yeah, I have this philosophy. Every good child is a child to every, every parent. Every parent. And every good parent is a parent to, to every, every child. child. So family to me first. The things I didn't get from my blood family, yeah. I make sure I give it to my family. Yeah. And the things I got from the streets, I make sure I give it back to the streets. Yeah. yeah. So so when when the, a couple of days ago, there was these videos, there was family moments where, where family members and fans were going to say <laughs> things to you guys and stuff. But your own video came later on. Yeah. Uh, when, at that moment, when, your video, when they played every video and your video was not there, how did you feel? Because I saw a lot of anger, I knew you know, the whole point boxing thing. How did you feel <laughs> at that point in time? Uh, out of everyone else, I know I'm amazed at how much people love me. Yeah. So I knew no matter what, even just anybody from those hundreds of people could say something about me. And besides that, I just wanted to see my child. I just wanted to see him say something nobody will understand except me. Okay. Yeah. So I felt terrible. That's why I could remove the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's why I could remove yeah. the wall. Yeah, I sort of angry, rage, yeah. you know, anger and stuff. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for talking to us. And I'm, I'm, sure you're, I'm sure your your child is very proud of you right yeah, now. He's like, my, that's my dad. <laughs> that's my dad. All right. Like we always say on the show, uh, big use to the platform. It's for you to use the platform to, to go out there. They give you lemon. It's for you to make lemonade out of it. Thank yeah. you very much for talking to us, Hansen. And you've been a very great man on the show. So, but yeah, man. I mean, we see the, the comp <laughs> guys. You see, right? You see, you see, a man sits and talk. Yeah. It's a man who was trying to call a boy after. I got that line. I thought he's going to suffer with my hands when he gets here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Wish you luck. Guys, please follow Hansen on all social media platforms and make sure you support him. Uh, maybe producers, content creators out there. Hansen is here, very ready to get on to your set. And so get him there and see the magic he has to offer. Guys, thank you very much. And if you don't vote for them enough, of course, they're going to sit right here and talk to me. But if you do vote for them, they are going to talk to me only after the finale. And of course, it's goodbye for us right here on Biggie After Burn. Remember, my name is M C D I B E N J A. But before I go, I just want to remind you once more to not forget to download the Biggie TV app on Play Store and make sure you sign up. It's free. You can watch the show live and of course you can also watch highlights and of course vote for your favorite flatmates on the app so that they don't get to sit here. Of course they can be the winner of the grand prize at the finale. Thank you very much and goodbye.